Hello there, welcome everybody. It's Diorama Don here. Um, and the subject this time is of a, a Dutch street. So we've got a corner house on, uh, on a Dutch street with a paved area here and uh, a tank going down a cobbled, cobbled street, cobbled road. Uh, something that you are seen that you would see um, quite likely in 1944-45. Uh, so it's predominantly how to make the house really that's the whole point of the uh, the video uh, so let's get into the video and i'll show you how i went about making it uh, before then please subscribe to the channel click that subscription button most important uh, and uh, the notification bell also and you'll be informed when similar videos uh, are published so Without further ado, let's get into the video and I'll show you exactly how I went about making it. So what I'm going to make is a, a Dutch corner house. And what makes it Dutch specifically is just the shape of the roof at the top. That's all. Um, so it's going to be a window, two windows on this part of the door and then a window and door on this part. Um, it won't be a 90 degree corner but it will just be a slight angle. Uh, so the, I think the, be, the best way I think of doing that is uh, I'll cut the whole thing out, cut the, the windows and the doors out, uh, and then just score along this line so that I can bend that back to make the side of this section. And also this part here that will bend back. And then when I scored down this part, I can decide whatever angle I want that to be and then I can fit the roof in a bit later um, depending on what angle I choose. Uh, so I'll go ahead and do that, just cut these windows out, uh, do all my scoring and bending and uh, come back and we'll go on to the next stage. So I've got the basic shape of the house that I want now. Uh, cut all the windows and doors out, uh, scored down these three lines here and so I could bend these two two pieces back to give the side of the house and then that's going to give me the shape of the roof with that put on the top like that. Uh, there'll be a face your board on, on the front of those but that's going to give me the shape. Again it's just a scored line wherever the uh, the bends are. So that'll stick on there. So that will give me my uh, Dutch house roof shape. And then I can bend this back to whatever angle I like now. Um, and I've made the angle of the roof so that that will sit on the front of the, that section of the house. And I can bend it now until that meets up there so that will give me my shape of the roof so with that there and that there <laughs> that's going to give me that's going to give me uh, the proper three-dimensional shape that I want okay so I'll go ahead and put my two pieces of roof on and uh, come back and we'll see what we do next okay so I stuck my roofs on and put a bit of uh, window furniture around the top and a slanting window sill there at the bottom. Um, for the roofs, I've used this um, fine corrugated card. I'm sure it's uh, easily available most places. Um, it, it won't be yellow, by the way. We're not having a yellow roof. I shall paint, paint that a terracotta color uh, to be more in keeping. And then put a facade just around the top, again with just cardboard. Uh, put a plinth around the bottom as well. Uh, so we need doors and windows. So again, just a piece of card behind the window hole there and draw around until you've got the shape of the outside dimensions of the window. Then you can design whatever window you like uh, cut out the necessary holes and that will stick behind there like that. That will make the windows 
Um, before I do that, um, I shall cut this acetate that will make behind that will make the window like so and then I've got a little bit of um, netting net, uh, cur curtain netting that will sit behind that and that will make the windows nice and easy so I've got some more strips of this corrugated card and I shall put those I've got to cut that at the right angle and put those like so like, like that that'll make it look like a a terracotta tiled roof okay so I'll do that finish the tiling on the roof um, I've given it a coat of white wall filler uh, it, it, it you can fill up where, where you scored the line down there you can use the filler to fill up those uh, score lines and uh, any other little mistakes that you might have made um, and that now gives it a key, a good basis then for um, painting. So I'll do that. I'll pretty much finish the house off uh, and come back and then we'll set it into some kind of diorama base. So that's the, the house all finished now. Um, I painted the terracotta tiles. If you remember that horrible yellow uh, corrugated card. Uh, painted that with this uh, terracotta coloured uh, um, tile grout just add water to this powder and uh, put that on there then with what was left I added some black just to darken it down and then uh, did the rest of it so uh, that's the outcome um, I did give it a black wash over the top but uh, I sanded most of that off actually it became a little too dark but that's basically the uh, the house finished so now I want to put it onto a diorama base so I've made this uh, let's get rid of all this stuff get off <laughs> come prepared Don there we are so I've made this uh, uh, diorama base just a couple of pieces of polystyrene and then put a um, an inch and three quarter uh, border all the way around um, and as usual I've left a, a, a lip all the way around here uh, for when I lay my grey grout grey tile grout uh, for when I do my cobbled street which I've done on numerous occasions now um, just same kind of stuff as this uh, but in grey and then uh, mix that with water spread that over that area there and level it off and then after half an hour or so I can mark out this, the uh, individual cobbles it takes a bit of time but um, worth it in the end uh, for this section where the house will be so the house will be there uh, I want this to be a paved area uh, so I, I, I made another piece of card this size and put it on there uh, but then the area that you see when the house is on there I, I cut away so I've cut all this this bit away so that I can cut it into five eight squares and then with sandpaper just uh, sand a bevel on all four sides so that when they go together they look like it looks like a pavement rather than them being like that and just pressed up squarely to each other they will look more realistic when they're like that so uh, I've got my curb stones which I shall put all along the front there and then my paving slabs which incidentally are Dutch paving slabs if you go to Holland <laughs> you will find that all paving slabs throughout Holland are these small square uh, sizes and they will go like that 
OK, all around this area and this area here. So I'll put my cobbled street in and lay my paving slabs and uh, we'll come back, see what it looks like then. OK, so I finished the diorama off completely now, fixed the uh, corner house to the diorama base there. Uh, finished my cobbled road and my paved area there. Um, if you want to know how I go about making my telegraph poles or street lamps or um, tank, uh, how to do the cobbled road or how to do the paved area, um, I have done uh, previous videos on the subject. So please refer to those uh, videos in my list and you will see how I did them. So I'll give you a slightly closer look to the cobbled road. There are various ways of making cobbled streets, I know, uh, but um, I think this is the most realistic by using uh, grey tile grout. It, it actually feels like cobbles. <laughs> and the, the paved area there, I think, uh, is a better way of doing it. You remember I chamfered the uh, all four sides so that you could define each uh, paving slab just went over the top with the grey grout again. Uh, so anyway, there we are. That's uh, the diorama complete. Stick him back on. And yes, I know the soldiers are German and the tank is American. Uh, but they made up for one day. <laughs> That's why they're together. It's all I've got. Okay, it was the, the point of the whole video, obviously, is, is the, the house itself. How I, how I made that. Okay, so uh, thank you very much for watching this video. Um, please have a go yourself. Um, it's much easier than buying uh, resin kits. Um, it, it doesn't take that much doing to make a, a building of some kind with cardboard like this. And, uh, and it's quite a, once it's stuck down, it's as solid as any kit that you might want to buy. Um, and it just shows off your military vehicle quite nicely, I think. OK, so uh, please subscribe to the channel. That's the most important thing. Click that subscribe button. Click the notification bell and uh, you will be notified of future videos. OK, I'll leave it with you and uh, I thank you for watching this. I'll see you in the next video. And as always, I wish you the very best of happy modelling.